Alright guys, I haven't been on Trello for a while, but we're back today at 14.18 Where we have a bunch of update on what's going on with Arcane Odyssey So this is gonna be great. Um, I looked over it Looked it over at it already, but the recent ones are mostly about deckhands, right? I was gonna separate it into two videos, but I'm like that's too much work <laughs> so I'm like let's just talk about deckhands right what's going on with it right now but recently in the point 18 deckhand now display the shipyard UI which is not that important but the uh, most important ones I would say is deckhands like default speed went from 3 to 2 turning speed is 10 to 5 so you're getting like a little bit of nerves, which sounds bad already. Until you read that deckhands are now free to recruit. Hmm. Requires no galleon or renown. This is due to their level slash changes, tier changes above. Right, so it says tier changes above. I'm not sure what that means, but does that mean you have to like find them at like legendary tier would be the best and they start at level one and you level them up or they start at like rookie tier and then you level them to legendary i'm not exactly sure but it's probably from like level one which is rookie you know low lowest tier then when we level up more i assume we get legendary tier right that can i assume that's how it works but you never know it's a little bit confusing um, and then it says since it's not really needed anymore since they would require resources to max Oh, there you go max out their tier profession and loyalty, which is new loyalty is new Profession is probably new Tier is not new since you level up and you get new tier. I didn't even read it. So that was my bad <laughs> But yeah, you level up you get higher tier makes sense makes sense And then it says stick hands leveling no, no longer passive right it's not passive anymore so I believe yeah you get levels when you sink a ship right that's great and the amount you gain is 10 is it like 10 minimum or like what because it says 10 level per ship sunk right or you can gain that many so I assume 10 level is like the max maybe right because it did say the gain is based on the ship's level compared to your own, right? So if you're like level 1 and you destroy like a level 120 somehow, I guess you'll get like 10 levels easily, right? Not bad, not bad. Here's some like fixes, right? Nothing crazy besides catch timer. Legendary fish rotting doesn't give to legendary fish scale, which I didn't even know. Apparently if you let your fish rot, you get two scales. But okay, I mean that's great, that's fixed. And then the next one, like down to like the more older patches, if you guys I don't know if you guys seen this already, but this one, it lets you auto fish basically. Cause it says when your ship is idle, stationary, some of your crew will now begin to equip fishing rod after a bit and start fishing. Your crew can catch one fish per 10, 20 minutes across the entire crew, right? So it means you're getting one per like every 10, 20 minutes. Not that good, but it's there. And it also only catches fish, not items or armor. But it doesn't use your bait. So excuse my background noise if you guys hear that. Um, Yeah, Um, let's see. Where was I at? Oh yeah. But yeah, Um, basically auto fishing is available, right? Your timer will resume whenever you're stopping your ship, it seems like. So... I mean, it's good if you get legendary fish, but I don't know if they're gonna change the spawn rate, right? Right now, it has been... I don't know, for me, I got four sunkins ready. But like, only one legendary fish. So... I'm not sure what's going on, maybe something's bugging. Yeah, I don't know. I am using ensnaring though. But I don't know if that changes anything, right? Yeah, that's a little bit weird. Um, 
and then the later changes i don't think it's that important maybe um they're not accumulates visually opening chests for some reason um some visual changes right with gel reload timer oh an atlantean modifier that gives two times as much attack size attack speed agility and intensity which i didn't even know it gave but power is not in there so that's kind of yikes i mean we all take it because defense also like you get one times 1.1 times more i mean it's not really that bad it's like you get 200 before like you get you know 220 right you get 20 extra hp you or so like it's not that crazy i think the more crazy part is the attack size attack speed right those might be more viable now so that's good um and then the 5.15 forgot what version we're in but 0.15 Oh yeah, added seal chest that moderators can deliver to those who like lose to lose chest to bugs. I don't know if like blocks through crashing the whole server counts as bug, right? Those are the more consistent one in terms of like me recording them down, right? Cause you need a proof to show that you're bug, which is annoying for a game that just punishes you for playing the game. Um, but I'm not gonna think about it too much. I'm already like, I, I I get mad whenever I think about it. So, um, yeah, let's not worry about it. <laughs> but I think that's it. That's it with like this um, these recent patches. I mean, we have some old ones, but those I believe we already talked about, right? That's like the new sunken item and so. So I think that's it with the new changes, like these crews are really good like so the most important ones i would say is you can level up your crew and you get them for free right and they also fish for you and they now have professions and loyalty which i assume is like how long you have them for right you need to keep them for like maybe 24 hours to get legendary and so on right it'd be cool if you can give them gear right think about this if you can give them sunken armor, blah, blah blah, so on, right? And then you get different stats depending on those stats. I think that would make the game a lot more interesting. But then again, farming for armor would be kind of tedious sometimes. Um, for sunken armor maybe. Um, and like scroll enchant, but that could be a way to make us play longer. But then again, I'm like, I don't want to go back to Bug Sea Odyssey, so. Yeah, don't, um, I'm, I'm sure they won't do it, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching. It's surprisingly short, this, um, video, I feel like, but yeah, I'm, um, if you made it here, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time.